Well, a driver is caught on camera ramming into cars at a West Palm Beach gas station. Police say she put the lives of customers and employees in danger. CBS 12's Lily Ortiz joins us at that gas station along Palm Beach Lakes Boulevard in West Palm Beach with the video and the reason behind this driver's rampage. Marathon storefront remains wide open. Workers are actually installing the glass entrance doors right now. Now those who work here, they're still very shaken up after Wednesday's incident and they're just glad that no one was gravely injured. A dangerous drive at a Marathon gas station in West Palm Beach. Cell phone video from last Wednesday evening shows this gray Nissan reverse, then striking a car near a pumping station. She didn't stop there. She is seen ramming into other parked cars, not once, but several times. The video later shows her speeding towards the storefront, smashing the entrance doors. West Palm Beach arrested this driver, 24-year-old Midland Natson of Delray Beach. They say she did this on purpose. I've been here for almost four and a half years, and the most I've seen is, you know, customers getting angry, but I've never seen anything like this. Shift leader David, who doesn't want to show his face, feared for the lives of his customers and employees. But the fact that she actually went through with it and ran through the door multiple times, I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, I, I was that shocked. In the report, a witness said this violence may have started after Natson and a man at a different gas pump began arguing. You see her hitting his car seconds later. Another victim got hit so bad, his arm was pinned between his car and the gas pump after the crash. It's a neighborhood store. We have people in the neighborhood that come in. So for the most part, nothing bad really happens here. Natson kicked and screamed as police tried to detain her. They eventually did. And while she was in custody, Natson told police she did this to get attention for her personal life situation to be noticed. There's other ways to do that, you know, and you can do it in positive ways without having to express it where you're hurting and putting someone's life in danger. So at the same time, I understand she's probably upset or had things going on, but you got you to gotta express your feelings in a different way. Her violence continued at Good Samaritan Medical Center. She actually bruised a nurse during medical clearance. Now she faces a ton of charges, including aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. In West Palm Beach, I'm Lily Ortiz, CBS 12 News.